The secret word tonight is name. N-A-M-E. Really? You bet your life! The DeSoto Plymouth Dealers of America present Groucho Marx in You Bet Your Life. The comedy quiz series produced and transcribed from Hollywood. And here he is, the one, the only... Groucho! That's me, Groucho Marx! (laughs) Thank you. Well, here I am again with $2,000 for one of our couples. George Fenneman, who gets first crack at all that money? A couple of people with unusual occupations, Groucho, and here they are. Mrs. Lita Griggs, who is wardrobe mistress for a circus, and Mr. Tommy Dalby, stage doorman for a burlesque theater. Folks, meet Groucho Marx. Welcome, kids, with the DeSoto Plymouth Dealers. And if one of you says the secret word, you split $100 in cash. It's a common word, something you always have with you. Mrs. Uh, Griggs, eh? Yes, sir. Mrs. Griggs of the Cabbage Patch, is that... Uh... <laughs> this Mrs. Griggs. Your no. wardrobe mistress for a circus? That's right. Uh, which circus? For the Clyde Beatty Circus. Is that a big circus? They certainly have... They have uh, a how big, big is it? Yeah. Three ring circus. Three they rings, have uh, yeah. 75 lions and tigers, 200 performers, and the balance are uh, the ticket sellers. Uh, Gochi, and all that. And, mm-hmm. <laughs> and Mr. Tommy uh, Dalby, huh? Eh? Right. You're the uh, stage doorman at a burlesque theater? Yes, sir. At uh, what theater? At the Burbank Burlesque Theater downtown. <laughs> How did you meet your wife? Was she a chorus girl at your theater and she threw you a curve? Uh, no, she worked at the theater. She was a cashier. Oh, oh, you married into money, huh? <laughs> your wife checks the figures at the front door while you check the figures at the stage door. <laughs> well, that adds up, I think. <laughs> Mrs. Griggs, uh, what, what does your husband do? My husband is a clown. <laughs> Mrs. Griggs, everybody's husband is a clown. <laughs> Let's face it, huh? Is he, is he funny at home? Oh, yes. yes. Could you give us an example of... Uh... No, not right here. <laughs> How did you meet your husband? Oh, uh, I met him at a fox hunt. <laughs> Were you chasing him or was he chasing you? No. What do you mean you met him at a fox hunt? Well, I tell you, all circuses have uh, uh, races. What was he, a beagle? <laughs> they have races where pairs ride around uh, the big tents, you know, and jump hurdles and all. And this day, uh, I fell in a mud puddle. And he carried me out, and that's the way we met. You went to a fox hunt in a mud puddle? <laughs> I don't understand this. Where, do, where does the fox hunt, hunt come in? The, fo- the, fo- the, the horses ride in pairs around the yeah. big top. They jump the hurdles. Yeah. I don't know where the fox comes from. <laughs> Well, uh, you just threw that in to make it more difficult, is that it? <laughs> yeah, do you have any children? I have three girls. You have three girls? Yes. Yeah. Three girls. Uh, how old are they? Yeah? A 16, 14, and 11. Oh, and do they go to they're the circus? Yes, they, they do. They're oh. all aerialists. Oh, they're all in the circus? Yes. Yeah? Oh, I see. There is. You mean you can tune them in and get television programs? And... <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, how, do, how do they get to be aerialists? Well, I used to be an aerialist when I was uh, younger and, and thinner. <laughs> so I, I think taught you're that. young enough now to be a, an aerialist, Mrs. Griggs. Thank you. And thinner. Uh, Tommy, uh, let's talk about a man's subject, girls. Tommy, at, at your bail estate, uh, how, how is business? Oh, business is always good down there. It's always good. Well, if it ever falls off at your place, business will be better than ever. <laughs> <laughs> well, who are some of the headliners you've known, uh, you've seen parade through your theater? Uh? Well, we've had uh, uh, Betty Rowland, the Ball of Fire, uh, Lana Barry, Red-Headed Heat Wave, and... <laughs> These are all pretty hot numbers, aren't they? <laughs> and 
Lil' Sincere, uh, the uh, Anatomy Award winner. And right now we have... <laughs> What was that last one, uh, Tommy? The, the Anatomy Award winner. The, that's what I thought you said. Huh? <laughs> Is it pretty exciting being a stage doorman at a ballet theater? No, it's... Uh, after a while, it gets a little... Well, monotonous. the first 50 yeah. years must be fun. Isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> well, after talking to you two, I can see I've lived a very sheltered life. Now... In, just, in just one minute, you're going to work together for a chance of $2,000. Whenever you take your car for service to any one of the more than 3,000 authorized DeSoto Plymouth dealers, you never have to wonder about what kind of a job you'll get. For that's where you'll always get the best equipment and the best workmanship, meaning a top job every time. At a DeSoto Plymouth dealer's, you get the benefit of factory-designed and approved tools and equipment. Also, skilled mechanics who know how to use that equipment. Getting a better job done on your car in shorter time naturally means money in your pocket and a car that will serve you faithfully and economically for miles and miles. So stop in and get acquainted with a DeSoto Plymouth dealer next time your car needs service. Learn what so many car owners all over this nation already know that it pays to stop in at the sign of an authorized DeSoto Plymouth dealer. Now, let's see if you two will be high for the night and get the chance at the $2,000. Phantom, and tell them the rules. Each of our three couples has $20. They bet as much of that 20 as they want on each of four questions. The couple that earns the most money gets a chance at the DeSoto Plymouth $2,000 question at the end of the show. Our other two couples are in a waiting room off stage, so they don't know what's happening out here. Here we go. Let's see how high I can build you $20. You selected former Academy Award winners as your category. Is that right? That's right. All right. Now, you have $20. Here's your first question. How much will you bet? Ten. Who won the Academy Award in 1942 for his portrayal of George M. Cohan in Yankee Doodle Dandy? Uh, James Cagney. James Cagney is right. <laughs> On the way, Groucho, with $30. Well, you got $30. Remember, you're going for $2,000 tonight. Now, how much of the 30 will you try? Twenty. Twenty dollars. Who won the award in 1940 as Kitty Foyle? Ginger Rogers. Ginger Rogers. <laughs> They're climbing. They have fifty dollars now. Well, you boyless man, you're stripping right along here. <laughs> Here's your third question. How much of the fifty will you bet? Forty-five. Oh, forty-five. Who won the award playing Father Flanagan in the picture Boys Town? Spencer Tracy. Spencer Tracy. <laughs> Now they have $95. Are you sure you don't work in a movie theater? <laughs> well, you got $95. Is your last chance to beat the other couples. How much will you bet? $95. $95. All right. Who won the Academy Award in 1945 as Mildred Pierce? Crawford. Joan Crawford. Joan Crawford. And they wind up with a grand total of $190. Thanks and good luck from the DeSoto Plymouth dealers. Now, don't go away. You may get the chance at the big question. Groucho, the secret word is still name. Perhaps the next couple will say it. Just before we went on the air, our studio audience selected a fireman and a housewife. And here they are, Mrs. Evelyn Russell and fireman Ben Brewer. Folks, meet Groucho Marx. Welcome to your bet your life. And if you say the secret word, you divide $100 in cash. It's a common word, something you always have with you. Mrs. Uh, Russell, where are you from, Mrs. Uh... Los Angeles, California. From where, India. Whereabouts? Yeah, well, I'm, I was born in the Southwest. Well, where about Southwest? You mean North Dakota? Or? In California. Yeah. I'm a native. I have to be in California if you're a native. Not if you're a native of Los Angeles, you don't. <laughs> you could be in Waco, Texas. <laughs> uh, Fyman Ben Brewer, huh? Yes, sir. Hmm. Where are you from? The Smoky Mountains? No, I come from Arizona. With a banjo on your knee? <laughs> <laughs> Well, what is the... Tell me, Smokey Stover, what is the... Uh, <laughs> what's the proper procedure for turning in a fire alarm? Well, you merely break the glass and pull down the alarm. The important thing is uh, not to delay, to turn it in immediately. Well, most people are reluctant to ring the alarm because they're afraid that they'll break up your canasta game at the firehouse. <laughs> <laughs> or 
playing poker, whatever they play. What no, do you play? Huh? We don't play any poker. We're not allowed to gamble. We'd be dismissed if we gambled. You mean they can fire a fireman? <laughs> you don't play poker or canasta. Just what do you do between fires? As of late, we have our fire prevention program that keeps us out most of the day in our district. We can answer alarms because we're on the radio and in contact with our dispatcher. And we talk to the taxpayers. Housewives? That's right. What do you tell the housewives when you call on them? Well, shall I assume you're a housewife? <laughs> well, many people have. Uh, don't let this tie fool you, huh? Come on, let's assume that I'm a housewife, huh? I'd uh, say good morning, madam. We're out here in the street with our apparatus. You don't even wait for me to say good morning back to you, huh? <laughs> Let's try it again, huh? Good morning, madam. Good morning, sir. How's tricks? <laughs> What's new, big boy? <laughs> what are you doing later on today? <laughs> okay, now the fire is still burning, I suppose. <laughs> We're around trying to enlist your cooperation in helping us prevent fires in this district. Uh huh. Yeah. We want you to watch rubbish in the backyard. Yeah. Keep my relatives out of this, huh? <laughs> we wouldn't want you to put any pennies behind the fuses or allow the curtains to get over near the heater. We don't want the children to play with matches. You're a real killjoy, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Uh, Russell, do you have any fire hazards at your house? Well, my husband's a fire hazard. Your husband is a fire hazard? You mean he burns up easily? Well, he smokes in bed. What's your opinion of smoking in bed, fireman? It's dangerous. <laughs> well, I imagine there's more to it than that, huh? <laughs> what other careless habits do people have that provide fire hazards? Do you have any rule for people to follow? Well... We have one little rule. You want to start over again and say, good morning, madam? <laughs> no, no, I'll give you the rule. <laughs> what, what is it? Matches have heads, but they don't have brains. And whenever you start a fire, use your head. <laughs> that won't work. I've got water on the knee. Huh? <laughs> I won't wake. I've got water on the brain. Huh? <laughs> now, where else could I have it? Let's see. <laughs> well, I've kidded our fireman, but I know all of us are thankful that the fire department does such an efficient job, Mr. Brewer. Now, you're going to play your bet your life for the chance at the $2,000 DeSoto Plymouth question. You run your $20 and the more than the other couples, and you get a chance at the big question. I can't tell you how much our first couple won, but Fenneman is off stage to remind our listeners. The circus lady and the burlesque doorman earned $190. Here we go. Let's see how high you can build your $20. You selected radio MCs as your category. Is that right? Now, you have $20. Here's your first question. How much will you bet? Make it 10 Let's just make 10 $10. <laughs> Who is the popular master of ceremonies on People Are Funny? Art Linkletter. Art Linkletter is right. <laughs> They're on their way with $30. Well, you're going for $2,000 tonight. Now, how much of the 30 will you try? 25 Twenty-five, okay. Twenty-five. Who is the MC on Stop the Music? Is um... Oh, darn it. Stop the Music. Fireman, save my child here, huh? Okay, I think of what it is. Well, it's, uh, it's Bert we, Parks. You should have known that. We lost. We now have five dollars, got... Roger. Well, all right. Now you're, you're down to five dollars. Oh, well, that's a shame. Here's your third question. How much of the five will you try? Let's try three. <laughs> try three dollars. All right. Who is the MC on Double or Nothing? Walter O'Keefe. Walter O'Keefe is right. They're on the way again. They have eight dollars. Now you're climbing. You got eight dollars. It's your last chance to beat the other couples. How much of the eight will you try? Just bet it all, huh? <laughs> okay. Here you go up the ladder again. Now who is the MC on Take It or Leave It? Uh, Eddie Cantor. Eddie Cantor. And they wind up with sixteen dollars. Good luck from the DeSoto Plymouth dealers. Now, we'll soon know who gets the chance at the $2,000 question. You know, friends, when you drive your car into a DeSoto Plymouth dealer's, 
you'll find they have the old-fashioned idea of courtesy. Fenneman, you mean they kiss your hand as you leave? <laughs> well, no, Groucho, but they do show an honest interest in your problems, a real desire to treat you fairly and squarely. Shall we dance? <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, friends, that's important to you folks who own cars, whatever make of car it may be. Well, I have an electric car, and it's quite a shock to my family. Well, enough. <laughs> Father Al George, which couple is ahead so far? Well, the circus lady and the stage doorman are leading with $190, and the secret word is still name. We asked if there were any engaged couples here tonight, and just before we went on the air, our studio audience selected Miss Ann Lane and Mr. Ken Miller, and here they are. Folks, meet Groucho Marx. Welcome, youngsters, for the DeSoto Plymouth Dealers. And if you say the secret word, you win $100 in cash instantly. It's a common word, something you always have with you. Uh, <laughs> Ann, Ann Lane? Yes, sir. That's a very, very pretty name. Oh, how old are you, Ann? I'm 21. And uh, Ken Miller? 22. You're the engaged boy, yeah? Yes, sir. <laughs> When is the big day to be, Miss, Miss Lane? June the 27th. Mm-hmm. Ken, why did you pick that day? Huh? Well, I didn't. <laughs> did she pick it? Yes, she did. Mm-hmm. Who's going to be present at your wedding, Ken? All her friends and her relatives and mine. Do you know her relatives? Well, not all of them. <laughs> you will eventually, brother. <laughs> Oh, and will you know them? Huh? <laughs> well, if you didn't know them, why, why, did you, why, why did you invite them? I didn't. Uh, are you implying that her relatives are trying to crash the party? No, sir. She invited them. <laughs> are you sure you want to go through with this? <laughs> yes, could I Could you am. back out now if you wanted to, Ken? Oh, sure. I think so. Well, how could you back out of it, huh? Well, I could... Quit paying on the rings. <laughs> then you, you have been giving it some thought, huh? <laughs> and is Ken going to be able to support you all right? I think so. Other fellas support their wives on his income. Even married yet, and you're already beginning to turn into the Marshall Plan. <laughs> and do you have a pet name for your boyfriend here? Yes, sir, but I don't want to tell you what it is. <laughs> <laughs> well, couldn't you clean it up? Uh... <laughs> Come on, Ann. What is it, huh? Well, well give us a synonym for it. He calls me Bunky, and I call him Punky. <laughs> why, uh, why Bunky, Ken? Huh? Huh? I don't really know. <laughs> what are cute names, I think. <laughs> What sort of work do you do, punk? <laughs> I'm a template maker, Douglas in Long Beach. A what? A template maker. Come again. What is a template maker? Huh? Well, a template maker is a... fellow makes templates, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's clear. Now I understand it. Huh? <laughs> so what is a template? A uh, template is a pattern. <clears throat> and a pattern is a what? A huh? uh, pattern is a... A structure that they build a part of a ship, too, and drill holes from that has a bunch of holes in it. Did you ever read Gertrude Stein? <laughs> now, what kind of planes are you building now? Well, it's called the C-124, and it's supposed to be the largest cargo ship built. How big is it? Well, it's big enough to hold two fully loaded buses and uh, 200 fully loaded troops. <laughs> I don't know if they can get the buses loaded, but they can certainly get the troops loaded. Huh? 
I wish you'd notify me when you go up for the first time with that one. <laughs> Where do you work, uh, Bunk? <laughs> I work at Douglas, too. Oh, you work there, too? Yes, huh? sir. So what, what do you do? Huh? I do general clerical work in the planning department. Secretary? Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. And what's the difference between secretarial work in an aircraft factory and in any other office? Well, I guess there isn't much difference except that you have to be able to understand the boss's terms when he's dictating. Mm. Well, when you start understanding the boss's terms, it's time for you to go home to mother. Huh? Have you been carrying the torch for punk here? Huh? <laughs> About two years. How did you meet Ken for the first time? Well, I was working in the tool crib. At You're the a very time. pretty girl, did I tell you that? Huh? Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> I was working in the tool. I didn't have anything to do with it, Anna. <laughs> if you were a pretty girl, I'd say the same thing about you. <laughs> punk old boy, huh? <laughs> So? so I was working in the tool crib, and he was a riveter on the assembly line, and uh, he had to make approximately two trips a day to the tool crib, but I saw to it that he made about 10 or 15. What is a tool crib? I don't know. Huh? What are you keeping there, baby tools? <laughs> Uh, Bunk, uh, Bunky, let's let's get back to your wedding. Uh, wh- where are you going on your honeymoon? That's a secret. Don't you think you ought to tell him? Uh, where you... <laughs> when are you leaving on your honeymoon, Bunky? After the wedding. Uh... <laughs> well, Bunky, you couldn't pick a better time. Huh? <laughs> of course, Ken doesn't care. He doesn't know where he's going anyway. <laughs> Well, I'm sure you two are going to be very happy, and remember old Uncle Groucho in future years when you're trying to think of a name for your 15th. (laughs) Now you're going to try for a chance at the $2,000 question. You beat the other two couples, and you win the chance at all that money. I can't tell you how much our other two couples won, but Fenneman's going to remind our listeners. The circus lady and the stage doorman are still ahead with $190. Now, here we go. You have $20. Let's see how high you can build your $20. You selected bird songs as your category. Is that right? Honeymoon is... And how much are you going to bet of the $20? Talk right up, Bunky. She says $10. Give me the title of this bird song. Play, Jerry. Bye-bye, Blackbird. Bye-bye, Blackbird. is right. All right, remember you're going for two thousand dollars tonight. You're on your way now. You got thirty dollars, says Fenneman. How much of the thirty will you try? Twenty-five. Twenty-five. What is the name of this song? Flamingo. Flamingo. They're really sorry now. They have fifty-five dollars. You got fifty-five dollars. Here's your third question. How much of the fifty-five will you try? Fifty. Let's see if you can identify this one. Okay, Jerry. Back when the swallows come back to Catastrophe. Now they have $105. You got $105. Here's your last chance to beat the other couples. How much of the $105? 100 A hundred, huh? <laughs> I know who has the pants in your family. <laughs> okay, give me the title of this bird song. Skylark is right. And they wind up with $205. And that means that they, with their $205, get the chance to sort of win a $2,000 question. Warmer weather is approaching fast, so now is the time to take your car for that spring tune-up to a DeSoto Plymouth dealer. With factory-designed and approved tools and equipment, with expert factory-trained mechanics, your DeSoto Plymouth dealer will give your car, whatever its make, 
a careful inspection and do all the things that should be done to put your car in tip-top shape for the weather ahead. Mechanics will give your car an engine tune-up, will drain and flush your radiator, check your spark plugs, your battery, and your tires, put in the right oil, lubricate the chassis, and do countless other necessary jobs. So don't put it off. Bring your car in right away. Authorized DeSoto Plymouth dealers are well equipped to give you courteous service, prompt service, service at a fair price. And remember, all dealers who sell DeSoto also sell Plymouth. And here's the engaged couple, the winning couple, all ready for the DeSoto Plymouth $2,000 question, Groucho. All right, here we go for $2,000, the young married kids. Well, if you win this, you certainly will have a honey, wonderful honeymoon. Huh? Are you ready? I'll give you 15 seconds to decide on a single answer between you, so think carefully, and please no help from the audience. Here it is. The monument to the Battle of San Jacinto, where General Santa Ana was defeated, is the tallest monument in the world. In what state is the San Jacinto Monument? <laughs> What is the answer you two have decided upon? Texas? Uh, that's right. In the state of Texas, near you... Well, it shows you love will find a way, huh? <laughs> now, what are you going to do with all that swag, Bunky? <laughs> well, I'm going to name my first boy Groucho. <laughs> Every time you open your mouth, I'm getting more broken. <laughs> you just said name, and that's the secret word tonight. So you, that means you just want to hunt out of the Compliments of the DeSoto Plymouth Dealers of America. Let's see, you won $2,000 plus $205 in the quiz plus $100 for saying the secret word. Say, you really cleaned up tonight. $2,305. All I can say to you both is congratulations. From the more than 3,000 DeSoto Plymouth Dealers from coast to coast, you bet your life. Thank you very much. Bet Your Life is a John Goodell production, transcribed from Hollywood, directed by Robert Dwan and Bernie Smith. Music by Jerry Fielding. Be sure to tune in again next Wednesday night at this time for the Groucho Marx Show, You Bet Your Life, presented by the more than 3,000 DeSoto Plymouth dealers of America. And remember, all dealers who sell DeSoto also sell Plymouth. Two great cars, both products of the Chrysler Corporation. And don't forget, next week, the big question will be worth... $1,000. Well, it's Bing Crosby's turn now, so good night, folks, and remember, just be sure to see your DeSoto Plymouth dealer. <laughs> folks, here's a tip from the National Safety Council. Walkers wise use their eyes. This is George Fenneman, signing off for the more than 3,000 DeSoto Plymouth dealers from coast to coast. <laughs>